weekend. It is Saturday. Well, not Saturday morning, but it is still Saturday. Uh, I will admit, I got up at a decent time this morning. Zane woke me up, so apparently I was, I was laying on my side and had like my hand draped over the side of the bed, being dramatic in my sleep, as, as one does. And Zane came up and shook my hand and he said, hello, it's nice to meet you. That's how he woke me up today. <laughs> Which I guess is better than being scared awake, so that was fun. So the reason why I'm checking in so late in the day is because we had to go and meet a Facebook stranger. So I bought these two beautiful tables off of Facebook Marketplace and we had to drive over to the next village over to pick them up from a storage unit. The guy was super friendly. The tables actually belonged to, I believe, his mother. He wanted to make sure that I was a collector and not like a flipper, you know, like just someone who's going to buy them and sell them because they're worth quite a bit more than what I paid. And I said, no, I guarantee you they're going to have a good home with me. I collect nicer, finer furniture. They're from Baker. I'll show them when we get home. Right now we're heading to brunch or lunch, whatever. 132 meals would be called and then we have to run to Target because we're out of dish crystals and deodorant and just all the silly things you need around the house. So to give you guys a little bit of bag candy, what am I carrying today? Love that about you. Stay curious. Today we are, I'm still in my Givenchy medium Pandora. Oof. We're at a stoplight. <laughs> I, I love this bag. I would love it in more colors and I'd like to try the, um, the sugared goat skin leather. I have the Pepe washed lamb skin, but I, I want to try the other softer leather too. Anyway, let's get some brunch. I'm starving. breakfast diner shop super cute really friendly staff the food is always like consistently good and the coffee's good so if you're in the area pop into rise and dine they're open daily from 7 a.m to 3 p.m i mean it's just like a cute little breakfast spot now we're gonna go to target and it's like snowing i'm so freaking excited it's i love it's blizzard i need a good snowstorm you guys i'm gonna be like snowed in and be like all warm and cozy and just like watch movies frozen pizzas wine like, I'm here for it. So we're gonna run to Target. Look at us, like we're just doing mundane things this weekend. Uh, when we popped over to Northbrook, it was our first time seeing the downtown, and there's this like super cute, I think it's called Leonidas Chocolate Cafe. So we're gonna try and do that for like brunch tomorrow, and then just kind of explore their downtown. It's super, super cute. cute. Um, oh my gosh, it's so snowy. Okay, let's have some winter fun, I'm here for it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just, I love this time of year. It's not wearing, okay, it's so pretty. <laughs> So I bet you never thought on this channel that you would get a convenience store tour. Um, I know it was quick. I, I had to be a little discreet. The, the clerk in there was kind of, what are these two weirdos doing? Yeah. They didn't have any t-shirts. They had a cute plushie though that Zane found, but I want a t-shirt. Anyway, that was a lot of fun. So super exciting update. I nearly have 400 points on my Starbies app and it's caramel brulee latte season. So of course I made Zane bring me. Well, last weekend vlog you had like two or three times. Are you putting me on blast? It's kind of rude. Truth. I speak facts. We don't deal in truth Zane. We deal in lovely little Fake stories. Fake 
Absolutely not. Anyway, I did want to get the snowman cookie with it because I love that they use, I think it's white chocolate for the frosting. Super good, but they're out. So if you brought me to Starby's sooner, like I had asked. Oh, it's my struggle it's for me to deal oh, with. Oh my goodness, lady. Shut up. Okay, we're done. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite time of year. <laughs> All right, so we're finally home from running errands, but I wanted to show you guys my new furniture. Okay, so the little table here, it's by Baker. The gentleman I purchased it from was kind enough to kind of give me some of the background on both of these pieces, actually. Don't mind Zane's old Keurig sitting back there. So essentially the tall stand here, both belong to his mother. The tall stand for 50 years sat next to their piano in their front room. He shared with me that she always had a vase of fresh flowers on there. So I think that's appropriate. It's a really beautiful stand. The, um, the smaller table is definitely very French uh, empire with um, some John Whittacombe kind of expression points in the, the design. The plant stand I'm not too sure about what kind of style you would call that. The little table, it is stamped Baker. The, the pedestal stand, I'm not quite sure who the original maker was, but you can definitely tell it's of a good maker. It's, it's definitely good quality. They just need a little bit of a, a wipe down and then we'll get them placed in their new home. But I'm pretty happy with them. They're, they're pretty cute. All right, so I really didn't do a whole lot of exciting things this evening. So I cleaned the apartment. There's the new stand over there. I hung this picture. I need to find another one to go above him to kind of mirror the situation. But I basically just deep cleaned everything in here. The kitchen, moved all the furniture, cleaned underneath everything, did my baseboard. So it really wasn't that fun to, to kind of show you guys. Let me see if my new side table if we can kind of get a good glimpse of that but overall i'm pretty happy with how it turned out zane just finished editing the video that's going to go up tomorrow morning at 10 a.m so i need to get to bed it's oh my gosh it's 2 a.m so i'm going to go to bed you're not going to see me because i look terrible so i'll see you guys in the morning All right, so before we go out for Sunday Funday, yes, who else is getting super excited about the Louis Vuitton Suhali unboxing on Sunday? I know I am. Because I can't carry my new bag yet, I need to find something else to carry today. So I'm going to be switching from the Givenchy Pandora. Yes, I'm still in it. I carried it all week. It's, it's, it's a fun bag. It's easy to use. I, I just love it. It's slouchy. It's perfect. We're going to go to a new cafe. So I wanted to try one of my other clutches. I have a whole look planned out in my mind. So for that look, I will be using my Burberry Porsum. This is from the, oh my gosh, 2012 Autumn Winter Runway. I also have the Hound Clutch. I need to find the Owl and the other ones as well. So I need to switch into that. And then I actually bought this wallet to go with my my country animal clutches. This is from the newer collection of Burberry. It's pistachio, you really can't tell in this lighting. Super cute though, love the gold hardware and the quilting kinda, it's a vibe, 100. And yes, I need to order art for this wall as well. It's a never ending process. Anyway, let's switch bags. <laughs> okay guys, so we're finally heading out for the day and I'm super excited. We're gonna try Leonidas Cafe in Northbrook. Something new to try. Let's do a fit of the day. I have this big, beautiful mirror, so let's show it off. All right, so the coat is um, Ralph Lauren, duh. Had this for years. Scarf, this um, scarf moment is from Coach. They actually sold this when I worked there and I was in college, couldn't afford it, but Zane bought it for me as a gift years later. The Burberry Animal Head Clutch, and then my Gucci loafers. So we're just going for like a casual Sunday fun day look today, right? All right, let's go get some food because I am starving.
we just got done with lunch at Leonidas Cafe. What were your thoughts? It was really good. Oh my gosh, I had the best quiche of my life, I kid you not. I had the vegetarian quiche. It had uh, garlic spinach, sun-dried tomato, and goat cheese. It was, I couldn't get enough. Zane had the? Belgian waffle. The Belgian waffle. His had strawberries, bananas, and Nutella. Everyone's favorite Nutella. So right now we're just kind of walking around. Uh, we need to run to Target and pick up a bathroom tray, which I'm super excited. For some reason, this one's sold out everywhere. Like I cannot get this stupid tray. And I just got a notification from FedEx while we were sitting down. I have a coach unboxing for you guys today. It's gonna to be informal, just a quick sit down. It's a very rare bag from about 13 years ago. I've had it before in a different color. It's, I'm super excited, so stay tuned. There's lots of good stuff coming. Another Target run, I mean, hello, does it get any better? Right, so our cute, Zane's singing, our cute little walk uh, through Northbrook got cut short because it is so cold. Okay. It is freezing. So we're gonna drive around and check it out. It's actually a really cute town. Um, this is where the good Northbrook Court Mall is. If you've seen any of my like Neiman Marcus LV like walkthrough videos recently. This is a super cute town, so we're gonna keep exploring and then we're gonna eventually make our way to Highland Park to get that bath tray. Unlike the, the ghosts, what? <laughs> panic, I can't avoid it. I didn't panic. Dip. Well, you find all the dips, but I wasn't panicking. I was, I was showing drama, like I'm gonna get the tray. The tray is mine, I already have one. I need two to complete the look. I'll show you guys it's a vibe, I promise. Anyway, I'm freezing. My hands are cold. I thought, you know, oh, I'm not getting any gloves. We're gonna sit in a cute cafe. Stupid me. Zane also went with she had his earmuffs. It is that time of year, I guess, but I'm here for it. I love sweater weather. All right, guys, let's go shop. <laughs> Operation tray was a success. You're like, Caleb, that's like a $6 plastic bathroom tray. I know, it's my aesthetic, it's my vibe. I'll show you the bathroom someday, you'll see. And I bought, because you know, soap pumps, no matter how much you spend, are always breaking and getting clogged up with soap, so I bought a backup soap pump just to have. I'm gonna save you all some time, and sh real talk, don't buy these. I was thinking, you know, I, I love chocolate-covered pretzels, I love pumpkin spice, I'm like, this is gonna be a match made in heaven. That's a lie. It is not tasty. It is it is revolting. Don't buy these. I hate making returns and I'm considering taking them back. They're, that's how gross they are. However, at Leonidas, after our delightful little lunch, uh, we picked up some macarons to snack on this evening, so I'm super excited about that. However, as promised, I do have a coach unboxing, so let me go set up some lights in the library and we're gonna have a casual unboxing moment. Love that for us. So a little bit of backstory. This bag, was in my collection a very long time ago. If you watched my my Bags That I've Lost video, you'll know the story behind this. So initially we had two apartment fires and after this first apartment fire, I bought this bag in my favorite color, the chambray, and I stupidly sold it on like a Facebook like bag group. This is like back when like the purse form was a big deal and I sold it for like a fraction of what I paid for it and I have been searching for it ever since because this bag was very rare. So Coach made it in four colors. So there's mahogany, the color I had, the chambray, a light tan, and I think ink, which was like their like inky dark blue. Just by naming the colors I've already like hinted, it's a bleaker bag, my favorite. Initially back in, what was it, like 2010, 11? That sounds about right. These were $798 or $898. Like these were very expensive for a coach bag back in the day. And they were super rare to begin with. So very rarely, ever since I sold mine and I've searched for it for years, this is the second, third one. This is the third one I've seen show up on the internet in, in over a decade. So that's how rare this bag is. And I search monthly. So let's get into it. I am so excited to have this bag. Okay, so super cute 
packaging, I guess. This is nice. So this is from Pam's Closet. And let's dive in. I am so excited, you guys. So I've been searching for this bag, like I said, for years. I stupidly sold the chambray. This is mahogany. It's a different color, but who knows when I'm going to find the chambray, and we all know I'm not above having multiple, so I'm fine with it. I am a little annoyed that they've folded it down so small. I hate that. Like, send it in a proper box. Am I, am I wrong? Anyway, let's release this from its folded prison. I thought that, ah, oh my gosh. Okay. Oof, a lot worse for wear than they, than they said. Thank goodness I, I got it on sale. This is <laughs> the Coach XL Bleaker Tote in Suede. This is the mahogany colorway. I have the chambray and eventually I will have the chambray again, but I mean, it's absolutely stunning. It, it needs a good needs a good clean, a good brush down, not gonna lie. And, oh my God, it still fits on the shoulder. That's so cool. Okay, so what I love most about this tote, yes, you have the suede out here with the coach leather wear, established 1941, the oversized bleaker tag, which I could totally take into the store now and have my initials put on the back. That would be a vibe. There is a little D-ring clip here. Even when I had the original bag, I didn't know what it was for. But on the back side here, oh my god, I can't believe I have this again. On the back side, you have this big zipper pocket with the Coach Creed. This really cool kind of like zipper pull here. And no paperwork. Oh. I got a coffee bean. Thank you, Pam. I got a coffee bean. That's so cute. I mean, it has a bit of an odor, but it just smells like someone's house. I, I wish it had that rich, buttery, you guys know what I'm talking about. My my fellow coaches, that rich, thick, vachetta leather smell from the, the bleaker line. Anyway, the best part, I, I got sidetracked. The best part about this bag is it is fully reversible. Oh, I forgot to mention, it does have feet here on the bottom. And then if you want to go like under the radar and just like, you know, chill vibes only, you can totally reverse this bag inside out. Oh my God, it's stunning. And a little dusty. It's going to need a good clean, but you can totally flip it inside out. And it's just like a casual leather tote. I mean, once this leather is cleaned up, it is going to be stunning. So I am so excited <laughs> to have this back in my collection. So I'm literally going to spend the afternoon today cleaning this up and getting it ready for the week. Because is this not the perfect bag for Thanksgiving? Like, Hello, I'm here for some turkey. Oh, you like my coach bag? It's rare, you can't have one. <laughs> you guys, I'm so excited. So let's talk numbers because we love transparency around here. What did I pay for this? So originally, I think I might've paid like $400, $500 for the chambray version way back in the day. However, this one I think was marked down to like, I think I had it like marked at 140 and then marked down even further. Oh, we have some edge coat loss. Ooh, a lot actually. Oh. I can send this in to get repaired. It's not a big deal. Um, it's still going to serve its purpose. And like I said, I think I paid $108 for it, including shipping. And I got a free coffee bean, so hello, it's already a win. I didn't know when I would actually find the chambray or when I would find one in good condition, like exceptional condition, as we all know I prefer. I was okay paying 108 and taking a chance on the condition. The photos were terrible. I mean, it is what it is. But overall, I'm super excited to have this back in my collection. and. I mean, we love a mid-vlog uh, impromptu unboxing, right? I keep doing this, I don't know why. So I think this evening we're just gonna like sit at home, chill vibes only, watch a movie. I'm sure I'll check in before the end of the day, but it has been a nice weekend, super chill. We love getting a new bag. I mean, if any of you have this bag in any of the other colors or even this one in, a, in, in better condition, let me know. I will buy it from you, I promise, especially the chambray. It's this gorgeous shade of light blue, and we know I love my blues. I need another blue bag in my collection, right? The style number, for those of you who are curious, is 12377, and this is actually a 2008 bag. So $800 for a coach bag in 08 was a lot of money, because I think the, the average number was like 398 for a full leather bag, so... This, this was hefty. This was, this was a big aspect then, but I'm happy to have it again. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's my unboxing. 
All right, guys, so it's time for dinner. It's only 6.30 and it gets dark here in Chicagoland at like, what, three? So we're having dinner and watching one of my favorite shows on Apple TV, The Morning Show. Anyway, so what are we having for dinner? I love that about you, stay curious. So we are having the, mm, <laughs> this is the chicken marsala dish from Trader Joe's. I don't know why I can't speak. Anyway, guys, we're gonna dig in. We're gonna watch some TV here and then maybe we'll try their macarons later, macarons. The macaroons, so two different cookies. Macarons. All right, guys, so now it is time for some dessert. We're still on the morning show, however. So we have a little bit of sparkling Prosecco Rosé. Zane has pistachio and almond. almond. And then I did uh, vanilla. I think these are gingerbread. Yeah, that's, that's the hazelnut, hazelnut. And that's vanilla. Okay, pistachio and you said almond. <laughs> Yeah, they didn't have coffee, so this is all. Oh, okay. So we're going to try a few of these, and then we'll check in with uh, ratings. The United Chocolate Cafe, bomb quiche. Oh, he did love the quiche. He couldn't stop talking oh about it. Oh, my God. It. It's so good. If you want to go back next week, and I'm totally down. <laughs> um, bomb quiche, but macarons, adequate. I do want to try some of their other pastries, though. They had a lemon tart that looked really good. Yeah, their other stuff looked good. Mm -hmm. I think I'll pass on macarons for now on from them. Yeah. Then cut it. The search continues for stateside macarons. If you have any recommendations, oh, comment yeah. down below. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's getting it, you guys. <laughs> we love to see it. All right, guys, so that is it for the weekend. It was pretty good, not going to lie. <laughs> a lot of random stuff. I It was a good weekend, though. Uh, I am super excited to have some new furniture. That was fun. And I just switched into my new Suhali bag. Again, that unboxing is going to go up on Sunday. So make sure to mark your calendars. It's It's a good... Good, good, good bag. I'm so freaking excited. So I'm going to carry a new bag this week. I just switched out of my Givenchy, whatever was left in it, and my Burberry animal fox head clutch that I carried to lunch today. Um, so I got everything switched over, switched my SLGs out. So that way it's just, you know, I like to start each new bag kind of fresh with different SLGs. So anyway, thank you all for joining us for another what I hope was fun weekend vlog. I love doing these. They're fun to, to watch back, you know, later on. So we're going to keep at it. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving yesterday. Be safe out there if you're doing any Black Friday shopping. I'm probably staying in. I'll just do all my shopping online. How modern of me. I will see you all on Sunday for the Suhali unboxing. So until then, stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you guys then. All right, bye-bye.